Okay, welcome back everybody. This one's going to be, a, uh, it should be a short one, unlike the other ones, but another parts install video for the GIRs. I've got the aero stabilizing fin part. Here we go, there's the part number there. Now these come um, painted, so you've got to order the correct one. Pretty straightforward. Do, 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 do. Oh, there they are. Ta da! There we go. So, first step in the instructions, this is going to be pretty straightforward, is to, that's not the first step. This is also not the first step. Um, clean. First step is going to be to clean. <laughs> so just got to clean up this little area. So nothing fancy. Uh, only reason I'm doing this is pretty much, I noticed nobody else had done a video of um of this install presumably because it's so easy <laughs> so there we go just lightly get that on whoop there we go got a hair in there that's not good that's not good don't want hairs in your in your in your sponge always make sure you get you have a clean sponge because when you get dirt inside the sponge that that dirt when you go to clean the paint it just gets squished more into it the sponge will put the dirt on. You don't want that special order of super dry chamois. If you notice that, I burnt myself. Ooh. Be careful cooking. Ah, oh, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Look at that. all that water disappear. It's the magic of a nice dry chamois. And the important thing is to not let this chamois get dirty because you will always have to have the chamois perfectly dry and clean otherwise you get the tiny scratches and over time over time the scratches just get more and more and then it's no good this is where the area where so the, you got you got the template that sticks on and it's paper so you got to make sure everything's dry as well very important to make sure everything's dry ah excellent oh yes lovely Lovely and clean. Okay, we found the real step one. Step one there, clean the area. That's pretty much what it says. So it's interesting, there's two, um, there's two different ways you can put it. You can put it either under the door, under the mirror there, or where it's normally meant to go. Like in, in all the advertising, this is where it is. And I guess you can put it there if you want. Hmm. Kind of weird place, but whatever. Uh, there's the other part too. So here we go, we attach the template on there um, and you meant to, yes, so you peel a little bit off of the um, of the, the sticker protection stuff, you peel a little bit off it then you have to place it, to place it in the right position up, up to the red line, the black line there and then take it off and away you go. So here's the template they give you, you only get one template, now this is the right hand side, see how it's blank, flip it over and you've got the left hand side, see how it's got LH so you only get one template, so you're not allowed to go screwing it up and... yep, that's the right hand side good stuff, good stuff yep, yep, alright hmm. so I've gone around to the other side just because it's got the writing on it and... Huh. how's that? Is that right? I'm asking you guys, I don't know. <laughs> I do kind of know. So you see, um, so the, the grey bit here, where my thumb is, that's meant to be the, um, the piece of paper, and then that's the seal, so this is, that's, the, that's meant to be the top edge there. And then this one again, the, the grey bit at the top of the image is the paper, and then they've got the, the bottom, the RR or something, that's Gurasu, that's the glass. So, both of these these two um, these two graphics here, they're referring to these edges being smooth along with the corner here. So this is just a little rolled edge before the big seal. Judging by the instructions, they want it to be flush with the with the rolled edge, and that's what I've got along here, flush with the rolled edge. Is it flush? It's really, mm -hmm. 
This bit's a tiny bit up, like a millimetre, but I'm not too fussed about that. Not too fussed. Is it level, though? Do I want it to be level? Is it meant to be level? These are just tiny little things. Is that level? That looks kind of level. The further I get away from it, the smaller and meaningless it looks. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Here we are. These are the little guys. So they come in... They come wrapped in pairs. There we go, like that in their own little bags. I'm just using generic masking tape, by the way. Pretty easy. There's no left or right, they're both, they're all exactly the same, that's fine. I don't want to do this one-handed. I really don't want to do this one-handed. Crap. Crap. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so you've got to peel up this little lip, the, the backing of the, of, the, of the adhesive. Because what you're meant to do is you're meant to have this lip up and have that the back lip up. And that way you can still, it'll stick to the car just a little bit and you can... Ta-da! So there we go, there's the adhesive foam, foam backing exposed now, with a little bit of the tape pulled back off. Um, it's important not to touch that, or get hairs on it or anything, because anything that touches the grey bit, the grey foam sticky bit, will no longer be as adhesive, as, 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 as adhesive. Oh boy, that's a mouthful. So now I've got to line it up to, so the important thing, let's fold that over just a little bit. Okay. And now do, 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 do. I should I gotta look at the thing and not look at the camera. It's tricky. Oh god, oh god. Okay. Okay, I'm liking that. I am liking that positioning very much. So now that I've got it where it is, I'm sorry, but I'm going to need to use my other hand. Because <laughs> I've got to pull out the sticky bit from underneath. And then it should be set, once I hold it there for a little bit. Hindsight is 20, 20. Um I just... I, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't get the tape, the the, the um, protection seal out from underneath, so I just gave up, pulled it off, and just pressed it on. Yeah, got it up, got it up in the right ish place. Now, um, interesting enough, the instructions don't say they don't give a specific time for how long you're meant to hold it against it. It does say that you're meant to apply 49 newtons of pressure onto it firmly to attach the fin to the car. Um, and then if it's under 15 degrees Celsius, then you need to do it for longer, apparently. But it doesn't say, it doesn't give a specific time, which is um, not ideal, but whatever. It's much of a muchness, really. They're just tiny little fin thingies. <laughs> do, 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 do. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at those aero stabilizing fins. Oh, yes. I'm going to stabilize that aero real good with these babies. Ooh. And they paint matches quite well. Which is, I mean, what you'd expect from a genuine Toyota product. Nice. Putting the template on, just wanted to mention. Um, I like, I, I'm, I, I do the top first. Just attach it from the top. Make sure it's nice and straight from the top. Make sure this is kind of in the right place. And then just because gravity will help assist in aligning it up, doing the top two first, and then working your way down, securing it in the right place. And then away you go. And important thing, make sure the paper is nice and taut. There's a little bit of give there, but that's all right. Um, don't touch these areas once you've washed them. So that's going to be pretty tricky whilst you're putting the thing on. So you get your chamois and just lightly wipe it down again. And then give it a couple of seconds, I guess. Let the, um, let the water dry off because you got your oils in your skin. If you touch that, get the oils in there, that's going to ruin the adhesion. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not in a week, but in like a month's time, 
going through a gusty wind or a rainstorm and then you get home and one of them's gone here we go focus focus oh yeah look at that it's not focusing at all is it anyway <laughs> let's see so this is the right hand side you can tell because it doesn't have any markings oh boy oh boy oh crap I regret this immensely. It's a lot easier to do it if I stop focusing on the camera. Funny that. Oh, oh baby. Oh baby, yes. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck yes. Oh my god. Mm. Okay. Do 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 do. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, are you ready? I might have skipped ahead just a little bit. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh baby, yes. Wow. Aerodynamic. Mm. What a beast. Okay, now another thing that wasn't in the instructions that I should mention should just mention this about all the adhesives really especially just the, the foam stick types is to just give them like an hour before putting load on them like um i guess it depends on the importance of them really these are super light and there's going to be dick all load on them so like half an hour to an hour is plenty fine to leave it before going for a drive in a, in a thunderstorm not that i'm going to do that but if you needed to but for things like a something that's, I don't know, like a wall hook holding up something heavy, you definitely want to leave it attached, like just the sticky bit, like you put the hook on, on the wall and leave it stuck there on its own for like a day, a full 24 hours. The longer you leave it, the better. And then you put whatever you're loading onto the hook, onto that. Yeah, so you gotta got to give the, give the glue some time to get, to get well acquainted. <coughs> Bellissimo. There's going to be um, another longer, bigger, fancier video coming up soon um, where I'm going to be putting something, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, inside here. <laughs> yes, very good. Very good. All right, well, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, stay tuned. I, 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 I damaged my thumb real good and now I can't straighten it. <laughs> ah, crap. Yeah. <laughs>